Okay, so we thought we'd take the time today to talk about our favorite memories, our favorite moments, really, of our YouTube channel from this year. What's happened on the Houston Local Guide? And it all starts right now. I'm Amber Moore. And I'm Brett Wallace. And we're your, your Houston, Houston Local, Local Guide. Guide. Okay, so we're really excited about this video. We were talking about what do we want to highlight today? And as we were reflecting, we were like, we've had a lot of great moments on this channel this year, haven't we, Brett? A ton. A lot of a lot that didn't make it to air. Um, oh, there's thankfully. a reason for that. I was every video I'm like, we have to edit that out. I have to edit Mainly that. Mainly me. Out. She's pointing me, looking at me, so you know. <laughs> so Brett, I mean, when I reflect back, I think one of my favorite moments from this year was shooting at Gallery Furniture. That was mine. I knew he was gonna do this. I'm anyway, kidding. so I'm I kidding. was first out of the gate. So we were touring Mattress Max, awesome furniture store, and we went and jumped on the mattresses and were acting like little kids. I think that was like one of the most fun and exhausting moments, I think. Brett, what about you? Yeah, and Max says, what did he say? He's like, yeah, get after it or something. He, I guess he didn't even look up. I could just, he was probably just running numbers or calling, calling clients. Um, I don't know, what, I, I'd probably say, no, I don't think it's a moment, it's more of a video. Okay. Was, uh, like I said, it's been a year. Uh, yeah. I think we're at 53, 54 videos. We're, it's we're, a lot. We're, 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 yeah. We just hit a year mark recently, yeah. so um, it's, it's quite the undertaking. And there's a lot more stuff that goes on behind the scenes than, than actually what is seen. Obviously, most of you guys know that. Um, first of all, I wanna say thank you so much to Chris, um, our videographer, um, he makes this whole thing yes. work. And, he was on my, fa well, my favorite video was the brewery video. We taste tested local breweries. Um, we'll wasn't, here. wasn't I... the greatest received, but um, you know, not everybody's saying Anytime like, you how does, drink beer, bread, yeah, 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 be yeah, yeah, how does beer taste? Not many people, how does Houston beer taste? That doesn't, that's not probably searched a lot for, thank you, tube buddy or whatever. Um, but no, that was a fun video to shoot and Chris was hilarious. Um, we got people asking that he be on more and that Amber be on less, so. I don't know about okay, that. Okay, I got to laugh, so that's all I care about. Uh, but no, my favorite video, I would have to say, was probably the one that put us on the map. Yeah. Which probably took the most work was the set, the seven best master plan I'm going to burn that pink dress. I worked for three days straight, people. Yeah, it probably does need to be burned. <laughs> but, um, but it was it was the seven master plan communities, the best seven master plan communities in, in all of Greater Houston. Yes. Um, we have over 10,000 views you, as we record this video right now. Yeah, and that, but but like that, after we did that, that, that was a Herculean effort. Yes. And it couldn't have been, that was like our first reel and we're like wow we kind of bit off more than we could chew on that one but it, it was, was like intense. seven different sides i mean it, it was hours within each community but it's paid off because that kind of like i said it it's crazy that that was one of our first our audio wasn't probably the best and you know we we're going through our kind of birthing pains of like right so now we have channel. professional microphones these are new so to, look we've learned today. a lot yeah. <laughs> It only took us a year, folks. Yeah. Okay. When you walk around with this, they're like getting out of your way. And like, we should, when you just walk around with a video phone, you look like somebody doing TikTok. It's but like, like our mom wearing a white jacket in a hospital. Like everyone thinks our mom's a doctor. Anyway, but you, you know, if you look the part, people respect you. It count, confidence is half the battle. That's what I always say, right? That's so funny. that's that was my favorite video slash moment. I love it. Yeah. And I feel like now that we've done so many videos, when in conversation with clients, I'm like, wait, we did a, we video, a video on, on that, that, which is awesome that we can say that. And also, if you have a video you would like us to make in next year, right, 2022, please hit us up, send us a comment. Don't forget to get our email address or our phone below. You can just give us a phone call. Save us as one of your favorite contacts or text us. You can do anything with that number you want and let us know what you'd like to see more of. Don't forget to reach out to us if you have any real estate needs. That's why we do this channel. We are realtors. And also, before we get into it, like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Hit that notification button. And honestly, the biggest thing that you could do to help us, because we know we have so much just great support, please share our channel out on your social media channels and say like, hey, Amber and Pratt, pretty cool. If you have any needs here in Houston, they're gonna hook you up. Okay, so without further ado, drum roll, we're gonna give you a montage of our favorite moments on the channel. Enjoy.
Was this list impressive or what? I know, right? I don't even know which community I want to live in. So um, <laughs> if, if you feel anything like we do, um, you know, there's a ton more communities out there. There's a lot more information out there. So, you know, if we didn't cover something, please reach out to us. Call, text, email, comment below. Let us know. Reach out to us 24-7. We would love to talk to you about Houston and what all it has to offer you. Like I said, there's so many more communities. If I was 10 years old, I, I, I feel like a 10 year old in here. So yeah, I mean, it's not just furniture. I mean, there's stuff to do. There's popcorn, movie theater, uh, facade. Like it, it's just cool and fun. There's popcorn. There's snacks in literally every room. Our videographer literally has four bags of, of, of food on him right now. Um, thanks, Mac. Um, but anyway, um, let's keep go keep going on this. Um, yeah, so I mean, and then so the kids can jump on all the mattresses, get all of that like adrenaline out, right? And we jumped on the mattresses. I think I'm still recovering. I was thinking I'm still panting. Yeah, so. even Mac was cheering her on when she got on it. Get it, get it. <laughs> What's up everyone? Today we're gonna to be bringing you to a Houston Asian grocery market. It's all across town. We're gonna to take you to Chinatown, to Koreatown, to Vietnam, to Sacktown, the Bay Area back down. Cali, I'm just kidding, that's a different video. But anyway, we're super excited about this video. We wanna show you all the Asian grocery markets in Houston, or as many as we can. So Brett, from here, if you go a little further east, like let's say you're going down to La Porte, you're gonna run into the San Jacinto Museum and Monument, right? Yeah, definitely, again, field trips, you know. Yeah, there you go. We were kids. Um, it's, you know, referred to as the 18 minutes that changed the world, right? The, the Battle of San Jacinto. He's the historian uh, here, much more of a history buff than me. Oh, and by the way, kids, if you're watching or you have kids, you have to take Texas history if, if you move Didn't here, Didn't mom right? always say that she thought that everyone in the country took Texas history? I'm like, <laughs> in Delaware, they probably took Delaware history, not Texas history, mom. Um, <laughs> she's very Texan. So um, the oil and gas industry. Hey, that was next on our list. So this is a perfect segue to Port of Houston. Okay. Look at you. Okay. You're okay. just okay. so Sorry. on the ball. Sorry. Yeah. So there's so much tonnage. I don't even know. It's a ridiculous One amount. One jillion tons. I don't know. It's it's ridiculous. If you're going to be heading that far out east and you haven't even been to Louisiana before, just wanted to give all of our friends at Lake Charles and New Orleans a little shout out because Lake Charles, I would say, is about approximately two and a half hours east. How, so how slow are you driving? <laughs> I can slower make it than, a, slower than you apparently. Okay, from here, from right here, about 150 to two. Okay, I was being a little conservative. So if you want to get away, maybe go gamble at a casino one weekend. I'm just saying you could do that. Um, and then if you want to get to New Orleans, I would say what six hours? What, what? Uh, yeah, yeah, five or six. Five, five or six, six hours. So if you have a hankering for beignets from Cafe Du Monde, we're not too far away. We're getting real far east in this video. <laughs> we're we're gonna end up in Shanghai before we're all said and done here. But, Okay, yeah, so Alabama, Gulf Shores is really nice this time of year. Um, <laughs> Destin, just kidding, just kidding. So who are some of your favorite performers you've seen out here? Oh, wow, I've seen um, Kenny Chesney like probably three or four times I out here. I think he here. says this in every video we talk yeah, about yeah. entertainment. Yeah, Kenny Chesney. It could, it could okay. be like a high school stadium. Like, I think I saw Kenny Chesney here and, like, when he was nobody. <laughs> um, yeah, but what are we talking about? It's an hour. You Go to Galveston, Matagor if you want to fish or whatever, but the other, we can replace the, the, the coastal water with a different kind of water. Segway, next Two, topic. There's the access lakes. to Great Lakes. So there's three lakes in Not particular. Great Lakes, Michigan. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Brett. Okay, okay I, I thought people might be confused there, but. Well, we went to Louisiana in the East video talking about Cafe Dumois or whatever in, in <laughs> Oh my God. In, in the oh, French Brett's, Quarter. Brett's in rare form today, guys. Yeah, yeah. Nothing would be possible without this guy right here. So it's a fun video. Let's let's take a couple couple sample sips and oh so right, you call me? Right 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 it's time for uh, Astros <laughs> Astros okay. time. Okay Crawford Bach on deck. So Crawford Bach is Carbach, right? Yeah. If I'm not mistaken. Um we've, we've had a blast being out here. It's nice that it's actually nice weather while be, we're out here. Yeah and to right? be just, just to be among the bamboo, the daylilies, the endangered species, the ferns, the gingers, the and right behind <laughs> us we have the o obovate beet grain. It's just a great, great, Look at great you. Plant. I feel like yeah. I have a science lesson. You might want to come out here if you are in the greater Houston area. You might want to fly in. You could do some really nice family photos out here. Don't you think? You could. Maybe we should do ours today, Depends Brad. on your family. Yeah. <laughs> Hey everyone, I'm Amber Moore. And I'm Brett Wallace. And we're your, your Houston, Houston local guy. I'm so pumped up. I'm sorry, we gotta get going to I'm gonna bring this community to you. It might also be that we're in like a hundred degree weather out here shooting for our loyal fans. So thank you for watching. This is how dedicated we are. The index may be 120, but we'll, we'll go with the hundred. It's a it's a little hot. They have hammocks sporadically placed along the crystal moon. Oh. Okay, let's just take a quick nap. So hey, Amber, actually, can you just finish the Actually, it's like 90 something degrees outside, so we're probably not gonna sit here. I'm not dressed appropriately to tan. Actually, Brett, you're in a great position here in the shade. 
Yeah, Brett just looks like he was made to live out here. Yeah, except I'm wearing Western boots. <laughs> it is mid-August when we decided to film this video, and I, by the end of this video, I'll have no shirt on. I don't want to scare anybody. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna keep mine on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's 2021, but it's we're not there yeah, yet. Yeah. We're not there yet. We still are realtors. We have to maintain professionalism at all times. Okay, so now we are in the car, and more importantly, in the AC. It is literally a smoldering, like it feels like 100 and something degrees outside. Uh, because it is 100 and something <laughs> degrees outside. Hey, it's Houston for you in August, okay? It's September, but it's even hotter Oh than my August. god! It <laughs> okay, people, I'm gonna have to take control of this video. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Everybody, I'm Amber Moore. And I'm Brett Wallace. There should be a blooper reel for sure. Hold on, after this car. I've got clips going. We'll get this one. Okay, so number three, the arts. We have Two. an incredible museum district here. Oh, my. Can't <laughs> Two. It's two. It's three. We actually got this bag from an event and it's called an emergency document bag, security cards, things that would be very, very difficult. It's good. Cause like, and it's open. It's not even <laughs> shut. It, I don't even think it can shut. It's ripped. No, it's not. Yeah. <laughs> I have other ones. Okay. So I'll transfer my documents over after this video Just so that I can be prepared. Behind us is a pond stocked with sharks, alligators, just kidding, no. We're, um, since you're with your two best realtors in Houston, or the... Let me start that. That's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> anymore i just want to rent hey we, but hey, heard we understand things. so look but short yeah. term pain long term gain right i can't say it any better than that's that. amber's way of saying this video is going on way too long <laughs> and she is correct but have fun that's the most important item of all seven let's get back to the texans it's just been i'm going on way too long I'm i know, was like we need to cut this i'm getting depressed here yeah, what else would, would you say yeah i mean you've covered it there's nothing else to talk about um, <laughs> just kidding you will be issued a report from the inspector that will have every single thing that he has found, including photos. Or she, complete. Amber, it's 2021. Oops. There are female inspectors. I'm sorry. Jeez. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> anyway, so what she's saying is this, is is that if the inspector- I'm not sexist. If, if, if the inspe yeah, let's hope not. If the inspector starts at 1 p.m. and it's a 3,000 square foot home, um, and you, you know, it's built in 1995, he might say, hmm, probably a lot of four hour See, inspection. He, so, he or she could say. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So. Oh, I did it too. Whatever. So the first thing, you're going to have to rethink your beauty routine. Now, I know that's going to look different for hey, each of us, right? I'm, I'm just I, I saying. I saw the look. I saw you looking in my way. So let's just say you want a little nip or tuck or whatever. There's plenty of places to go here in Houston, right? So you could go to the Texas Medical Center and there's a lot of little like boutique type of plastic surgery places. What do you what mean do you I could go? What are you saying? <laughs> no, 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 I'm not implying anything. I'm just oh, saying if one okay. should want. And trust me, someone here will get back to you immediately. And that's yeah, what I just I love. did this a month ago. And yeah. I, I put my phone over and within 15 seconds, somebody live was calling me, asking me what I needed. Yeah. And they the have next day, Someone was at my house. Yeah, they and then have... the next day after that, <laughs> you know, then, we love talking to the next day after that, I had a whole home water softener um, <laughs> system in my home. East of Intercontinental and Airport. about three miles from Lake Houston. Yes, exactly. And, and 20, next, what, and... 25 miles Ever. from... <laughs> <laughs> we love talking over each other. So I've been Shake. referring all my north side business for years um, of people that I don't know that well or, or you know, just times that Everyone's I don't want to Everyone's going to want to move north. Yeah, south, so spring, <laughs> spring, spring, yeah, oh, that's nice. Good, good. <laughs> That was a good touch. Yes, eighth worst thing about living in Houston. Brett lives here. Okay, okay, I got it. Okay, beautiful Brett time. So yeah. Hey everyone, today we are on the west side of town. West side? We're and it could save you a lot of time. And right? don't try blow up dolls or mannequins. You're gonna get busted. <laughs> I don't, I'm not gonna tell you why. He's not speaking this. from experience. Nope. Oh, okay. Uh Mile, mile 25. 
Just kidding. Today we're going to be telling you everything you need to know about living on the south side of Houston. And it all starts right now. Often Houston is referred to as the culinary capital of the south. Atlanta ain't the south. <laughs> that's a Pimp C reference, UGK, you know, when he went to Atlanta on a radio station, that's what he said. He's like, Atlanta ain't the South, you in the Eastern time zone. Anyway, go ahead, get back to real stuff. Okay, so again, we're covering the east side of town, Brett, so tell us what, you know, we're gonna unfold here. Okay, so um, east side, it's west side, just a quarter turn this way, and you got the east side. So Bring some Xanax <laughs> with you if you're gonna be a Houston sports team fan. or Good some advice, Brett. Or some lithium or whatever. Uh, Okay, so I should have brought the popcorn, Brett, because I right. think that was freaking hysterical. Yeah, so I just want to say I hope you enjoyed my portions of the video where I spoke and how fly I dress. We can't all have Yeezys, Brett. Okay, it's good to be Brett. Oh yeah, I don't even know where we're... Yeah, he has Yeezys on, and I have, like, Kenneth Cole boots, and I'm still not even... Okay, whatever. Yeah, part of this channel is just, like, coordinating what the heck we're going to wear and looking different, and this is, like, a massive undertaking. Well, Brett's always ready to go. You ought to see his closet. But in any case, we've hoped you've loved today's video. We hope you just have laughed as much as we have and have cherished the moments. Go back and watch any of our videos. We'd love to hear your feedback, and we can't wait to see you again here next week. There you go. Thanks.